Welcome back to the Lynn Miller Room here on the Moorhead State campus in this edition of the Eagle Sports Coaches Show. Rob Tenure has joined us now, and Coach, uh, spring practice is here. I mean, it's you got the clock ticking right now. Yeah, we're about five hours away from, from <laughs> kicking it off and uh, had to make a decision early, early this morning based on weather, and, and uh, we've decided to go and, and make this practice number one. So. Uh, our, 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 our student athletes are very excited, and, and I think my staff might be even more a little more excited than they are. You know, they've so. put a lot of hard work in since the day you were hired trying to get to this day, and I know the, girl, uh, the boys have worked real hard, the fact that the weight room and on conditioning before then, so yeah. it's, it's a special time at Moorhead State. No question, and uh, I, I think, as I mentioned many times prior, Jay, I, th I think I'm excited because our student athletes are excited. And uh, they worked extremely hard this winter. Uh, we've changed our bodies. We've, we've, we've increased our speed. Um, and uh, so we're excited. And our coaches are excited. Um, and um, just looking forward to getting on the field and competing. And, and, and really, this is the time you try to find your, your identity as, as a football team. How many dates do you get in the spring? Well, you get, you get 15 practices. And uh, that's including a spring, a spring game if you choose to have one. And so we'll have 14 practices, um, and uh, our spring game will be April 20th. So, yeah, spring game coming up at 2 o'clock on Saturday, April 20th. Of course, between now and then, you'll have the practices and you'll have a couple of scrimmages, try to, you know, to see where you're at. What do you want to accomplish out of the spring, uh, spring practice states this year? Well, as I mentioned, I think this is the time where, where you find your identity, you know. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna try to become more efficient on offense uh, and a little more uh, high powered, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna try and play at an even faster tempo. Uh, now we need to need to uh, uh, we're gonna have some competition, and we're gonna replace a, um, a first ballot Hall of Fame quarterback and a receiver, and and so we're gonna have some competitions, and, and we're looking forward to that. Uh, and we're really excited about uh, a lot of our red shirts from last year. Uh, they worked extremely hard uh, in the weight room and the conditioning, and we're looking forward to that. Uh, on the defensive side of the ball, everything's going to be brand new. So they're calling it football 101 for the <laughs> spring, Coach Burnett and his staff, and, and uh, they're starting from the ground up. And uh, I'm excited about that, and I'm going to be a probably a little more involved with the defense rather than the offense during spring. And... Uh, Defense is a mentality thing. It's an effort, um, and of course, I know it's 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 about identification. It's about alignment. It's about um, knowing what those folks on offense are going to do before they do it. And uh, but bottom line is, we want our run our, our young people on defense to run to the football and play physical, and uh, that's the identity that I want them to have after April twentieth. You know, the fact the new staff coming in, a lot of players coming back. Did you open everything up? Is everything up for grabs depending on you know, how they're doing uh, in, the, in, the, in the spring and in the fall? Not necessarily. I, I think we've got, some, uh, um, you know, we've got some really consistent guys uh, from last year on both sides of the ball, and, and I'll point a few of those out. I think <clears throat> one on offense is, is Kelvin, uh, Kelvin Harrington, who was our left guard last year. and I thought he was one of the top, top three or four linemen in the entire conference last year. He was – he was pretty darn good, and and uh, you know Reese McShera was our first thousand yard rusher uh, in in ten in ten seasons, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. And uh, we've got some talent at our slot position: Cyrus Strom and Justin Cornwall and Brandon Bornhauser. Um, and then on defense, you know we've got our leading tackler back, Jordan Hendricks. Um, very excited about about a young man by the name of Mike Jackson, who's kind of a strong safety. Um, uh, free safety type guy. Came into gonna, his own towards the, the latter part of the season. Yeah, and we're going to try and move him around a little bit and, and, and give him opportunity to make some plays and maybe cover some of their top uh, pass catchers and, and doing some things with him. And, you know, Aaron Meadows returns uh, up front. Rob Lewis, who started as a freshman for us. Um, and so uh, we're, we're excited. We're excited. Meadows may be the uh, – the leader of the pack with uh, the emotions because he can get fired up for a game. We used to, I used to just watch him, and you mm -hmm. could tell he got yeah. the other ones around him excited. Yeah, and uh, I'm excited about his leadership ability. Uh, he provides that that emotion, that that uh, that verbal um, 
uh, energy that, that, that good leaders require, I think. And, uh, and he performed well at times last year for us. And, and I know he's looking forward to, to growing and, and, and improving on his techniques. And he's another young man that's going to move around. He's going to play, in, he's gonna play his, with his hand on the ground sometimes. Sometimes he's going to stand up. And, and uh, so, yes, some of work. So we're excited about Aaron. You mentioned the spring game on April 20th at 2 o'clock at Jane Stadium. Also, you're having something else, aren't you? You're bringing uh, some of the players back? Yeah, uh, we're going we're gonna to host a, a, an alumni-type uh, uh, tailgate reception, and uh, we've invited all of our former players and alumni and, and current families and friends and, and uh, even our, our young men that we have coming in as freshmen. Uh, recruiting class and their their folk, their parents and friends, and and uh, we're expecting a real good turnout. And we've heard heard from uh, former players all the way back from the 60s, uh, 70s, 80s, 90s, all the way up, and and uh, it'd be great to to have a good turnout. I know the fact that a lot of people in the community. I mean, here it is in March, late March. The buzz is more at state football. We talked in the OVC basketball tournament. You came down. And, uh, you know, the fact the buzz is still around the football news is a great thing. It is a great thing, and it's, 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 it's never-ending from our end. You know, there's a lot to do and, and uh, a lot of folks to talk to and, and get involved. And, 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 and you're actually you're selling a, a product, and, and you, want, you want folks in the community and on campus and our administration, uh, everyone to really be proud of what you're trying to do. And uh, we're committed to doing it the right way. And uh, so we're looking, looking forward to it. We're hoping that all of our facilities will be uh, renovated by the 20th. And uh, we're going to do a new, uh, start a few new traditions. We're going to do a little facility tour um, with our alumni and former players. And, and uh, also going to do a, an eagle walk where our players will walk through our family and through the tailgate area and, and uh, start up a few new uh, promotional ideas as well. I know how important it is to you when you took this job, the fact that to get everyone involved, the former players, because, you know, it's a saying, but once an eagle, always an eagle. No question, no question. And I don't know if there's been a day that's gone by that, that uh, I haven't received an email or a phone call. And um, that's, that's, that's pretty special. And, uh, and believe it or not, there's a lot of guys that, didn't know me from Adam that have reached out to me and, and, and have uh, talked about, you know, hey, excited about, about your direction and, and uh, really like your vision and really excited about maybe coming down to a game or catching a game out in San Diego or Iowa or Florida or wherever it might be. So really looking forward to it and I and, uh, appreciate all that support too. Once again, spring game April 20th, 2 o'clock at Jane Stadium. Now, you're going to be busy because I have a sheet of paper here that lists the camp. And if you want to know about the Morehead State football camps, you can go online, msueagles.com, click on the football, and they'll have the camp information there. But, gee whiz, Coach, you're going to be busy just with the camps coming up this summer. Yeah, there's there's some restrictions as far as, uh, you know, when you, windows and, and, and dead period with high schools and stuff. So you have to be – uh, diligent with with that when you set these up, but we're going to offer a lot of camps. Uh, we're going to offer everything from a youth camp uh, all the way up to uh, a passing camp, a quarterback camp, which will be run by Andre Woodson um, and uh, our former quarterback Zach Lewis. And uh, we're going to have a team camp, which we've already got five or six teams committed to that uh, the last uh, last week of July. So well, Woodson Lewis camp uh, could be big time because you know. Two pretty good arms there. Two pretty good successful uh, quarterbacks, right? No there. question. No question. That's that's the big draw, you know. <laughs> so, um, two guys that that uh, had great college careers, or both, both uh, one from Central Kentucky, the other from Eastern Kentucky. So hopefully that'll help with the draw a little bit, and it'll be a good camp. It'll be a great camp, and it's something that we haven't done. Uh, for quite a while, so I'm I'm looking forward to it. Of course, that camp will be held Thursday, June twentieth. Uh, children. Uh, Quarterbacks from 12 to 18, 10 to 4, uh, you know, you get experience from Lewis that played on our level, one of the best high school football players in the state of Kentucky, had a great career at Morehead State. And then Andre Woodson, who played at Kentucky, well, played at, played in Kentucky, played at Kentucky, and played in the pros. So that's, that's a pretty good uh, duo right there. And then if the kids want to come out and learn fundamentals, June 17th, 18th, and 19th, three different sessions, ages 7 through 13. And, uh, you know, it's what it's all about. Start them young, start, uh, teach them the right way, 
and they'll you know that'll help them throughout their career no question and uh, we'll have fun with that that's a good age group that's a fun age group uh, and that is open to boys and girls uh, and so that'll be those will be morning sessions for those dates and and I'm uh, hoping for a good turnout uh, from the local community. Once again, go to msueagles.com, click on the football icon, and then uh, they'll have the camp uh, and also have the uh, brochures there that you can uh, print off and uh, send in. Or and if you have uh, just uh, some questions about it, you can call the football office, right? Yes, sir. There's actually contacts for all the camps, all the individual camps, and, and uh, we ask that they contact those coaches uh, for those for those specific camps. Well, we'll, we'll get the uh, gator out this afternoon, and uh, hopefully not have to do the snow off the field. But no, uh, hope not. but uh, it'll be a great start of the uh, spring football practice. Once again, two scrimmages coming up Saturday, April sixth, and then Saturday, April thirteenth. Uh, of course, those scrimmages uh, will uh, give you a, a little better. Uh, read on the team and of course the big scrimmage the spring game Saturday April 20th at 2 p.m. and we invite everyone to come on out come out early no question come on out enjoy yourself be part of the tailgate <clears throat> come on out and check out our new facilities and and uh, be around all the family and friends and and uh, join the Eagle football family all right coach we appreciate you taking time out and talk to us I know you're getting exciting as we said when we were taping this uh, the countdown the clock's on I can hear it click, click that's click. right that's right well we look forward to a great uh, springtime and a great fall here at Moorhead State University Rob Tenner football coach at Moorhead State University that's going to do it for this edition of the Eagle Sports Coaches Show for everyone involved I'm Jason Blanton so long everybody